All right, I'm gonna start by showing you the left hand on a simple, slow piece. If this is your C chord here, then you understand that that is C, E, and G off of the C scale. That's the numbers one, three, and five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. One, three, and five makes the chord, so C chord. The actual left hand is working to provide the beat. And so, you know, when I start out teaching someone at the very beginning, I teach them just to keep the beat like this. So they're just keeping the beat, and you've got to start with that basic, simple, um, method first in order to build on top of that. But as I mentioned before, many of you uh, posted in the blog and, and my emails to me that you struggle with that left hand. So this is something that once you've learned how to keep the beat and make those changes, those chord changes, comfortably, then you can actually arpeggiate the chord. And that's what I want to show you today is arpeggiating the chord. Basically all you're doing is taking the C, E, and the G and just rolling it separately. And so if we just did the simple one, two, three, it would sound like this. So see how much difference that sounds than doing it like this? Okay, so we're basically arpeggiating that chord. Now just three notes makes it really even, you know, better than the basic just chord, but then also to add a few more of those in there. So since we have amazing grace we can actually add in extra notes of this chord so what we're going to do is do the one then the three then the five then the three then the five then the three so we have one two three four five six one two three four five six one two three four five six just basically every chord we're doing that way we're taking the chord in the root position that's C in the root position F in the root position G in the root position D in the root position a minor I didn't take in the root position but I could have so and I'm just rocking it back now the reason we're doing six of those is because amazing grace is in three t three four time it's one two three one two amazing grace how sweet the sound that and like that so we're actually doing double notes on du double the rhythm making those all eighth notes um, two for every beat how we're doing it. Now, another thing you can consider whenever you're doing that, you don't have to just stick to this. If you want to roll it on up and do one, two, three, four, five, six, you could do that. All I did was the C chord and the C chord. So if I, if I use this technique a little while, and then I use this technique a little while, and just kind of mix them up, then it doesn't make my playing sound so much the same. Because it does get kind of monotonous to hearing that same thing over and over and over. So if I mix it up, it just makes it a lot less um, 
boring, I guess you could say. And even if I wanted to do this sometimes, I could start out. Let me show you how I would mix those up, okay? C7, F. Now I'm gonna go to the this kind. So I did this a little bit, I did this a little bit, I did this a little bit, and having this, using all those simple techniques out of this one little thing like this, or just chord, made my playing sound so much better. Now, on the DVD, the instructional DVD, Piano by Ear Continued, I show you how to go down here and add a tenth. So it makes it sound even fuller. But you've got to start with those basic things first. And that's why on the Piano by Ear for Beginner and Piano by Ear Continued, I put those two courses together to take you step by step so that I'm not throwing tenth runs at you at the very beginning and you're trying to figure whatever, whatever it is that I'm doing with all those extended chords. You don't want to do that. So basically taking that simple little thing, you can, you can just make a song sound so much better. So, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'm off for now, and I'll be in touch soon again with another free video. Goodbye.